What's up guys, this is Drake from Reddit Viper, here with the next Wartech highlight video, this time from our week 3 CWL matchup versus J-Off. Um, as you can see, we were able to come away with the victory, 102-98. to 98. Um, We spun a 35, be 35 in this. Um, I believe the breakdown was 5-16 and 14-9s. Um, we were able to get two 11v11s, and um, that was because we got nine 10v10s and cleared the 10s um, with uh, seven dips, I believe. And also cleared the nines too, I believe around 60%. Um, they got one 11v11 triple. Um, but they could not clear 10s. I believe they have 5 10 v 10s um, but left a few open. So, uh, Shout out to J-Off for a good war. Um, and we'll just jump right into our replays. I'll only be showing one 11 v 11 um, just because the other one is a queen walk bitch and you know how that goes. So this is a hobo. Um, he's got 33 hogs, he uses one to lure the CC along with a few loons on that warden. Clan castle is a dragon, witch, goblin combination. He starts off here at 10.30 with heroes and bowlers and the warden. Um, getting a double layer wall break, tomes and rages up his kill squad. Actually got a triple layer wall break, so <sighs> tomed wall breakers OP. Um, great value on this kill squad. Queen takes out Eagle, gets another expo, and she'll make her way around to get a few more defenses. Um, somehow she targets that Inferno Tower, but. So, kind of lucky, I guess. Um, so it starts its hogs down here at 7 o'clock. Um, it's got five heals for them. Kind of path around the Inferno. So he sends a couple more in to try to take it out. I don't think they will be able to. It's got a whole bunch of uh, skellies following his hogs, but still has two heals left. And... Not much base remaining, um, so just a couple archer towers and wizard towers remaining. Still has one heal left, which I don't think he will use. Um, so just that one inferno, a little bit of useful swag there, and they take out that final inferno, and it is just clean up. He's got some wizards and archers. Four cleanup. It's a great job to profit. He actually had the other 11 v 11 as well, so definitely great war for him. Um, nice attack. Um, we'll check out one 10 v 11. It was a fresh hit by Mammoth, our 10 v 11 specialist, and he is coming in with. 8 skelly spells, 15 baby dragons, 8 loons, so very interesting army composition. We'll see what he does with it. So he starts off with a bowler, get that mortar, and a baby dragon for the Tesla. Um, one of them goes out to that seeking air mine, but puts in another one, he has 15. Sends in a couple hogs to lure the CC, which is baby dragon witch, double witch combo. Or maybe there's a Valkyrie in there, I'm not sure. So he uses another baby dragon to get rid of that. Lures over skellies and Valk with an archer. 
and he'll place another baby dragon to kill that off. Um, as you know, you can kind of take your time on these 10v11 attacks because you have 3 minutes to get 50%. So he starts off with his king and a Valk down here at 5 o'clock. Sends in a golem from his clan castle, a wizard and his queen at 3.30. Sends in some wall breakers to break open that wall. Drops down a haste and eight loons. Um, I think he staggered them a little bit for red mines. Then he goes in with the raged skellies. Eight skeleton spells and one rage. And since there is no splash um, around the town hall, as he took out the wizard towers with his balloons, they will take out the town hall. And now he has just baby dragons all around the base to get that 50%. Um, he's already at 33, he's got four baby dragons left, and also queen ability, which she uses. Unfortunately, she beats through a wall, and... He's already at 50%. Um, drops down his last two minions to get rid of that Tesla. And he will finish up at 56%. So great job to Mammoth. Great plan and always great execution. <clears throat> we'll check out our 10v10s. And I will not play any of the same strategy. So. You guys will see, I think, five, five different Town Hall 10 strategies, so. Interesting, good variety, which is always fun to see. So this is a Queen Walkalalo, and I believe this was a fresh hit by Andrea, so great job to him for that. So starts off with his queen at... 4.30, baby dragon to funnel south, and she will make her way east, drops down a rage, and a king and one wizard to funnel east. Test wall breaker triggers a jump bomb couple more to break open that wall. Clan castle is a baby dragon witch combination which we saw a lot of during this war. Um, yeah I don't think we saw too many hounds at Town Hall 10 at least. There were some at Town Hall 9. Queen will take out one air defense at least, and he's already starting his Lolo down here at 6 o'clock. His Max Hound pops to that Inferno. But he's got one Hound remaining. Queen will walk over there and take out that last air defense. Rages through the Expo Inferno compartment. <coughs> um, he's got one heal left which she drops to get the loons nice and healthy heading into stubble wizard tower archer tower section queen comes over and takes out that last archer tower and is working on the king loons take out that last wizard tower and it is just clean up from here so great job to andrea Um, next up we have Maddie going in on number 12. He's coming in with the Queen Ho. Um, I believe we tried this a couple times. We just uh, couldn't get the timing right on the CC pull and the Barb King aggro. Um, so starts as Queen over here at 2 o'clock and sending her into... So, 
for air defense section. Wall breakers break open. This east compartment has a kiwi walk at 3.30. Couple more wall breakers for that double layer. And one of the wall breakers, tar or there is a CC, which is a baby dragon, Valk, which and uh, wizard and archer. BK locks on as well, but everything is in the poison, so gets to that no problem. Drops down his last rage to move towards the queen and. You will use ability to get through enemy AQ. Um, the previous attacks, I think, we had to burn ability for the CC and Barb King, so Queen died even under rage when she got towards the core. <clears throat> Anyways, his Queen died, but she's done her job. Healer switch over to the Hogs. Sends in some more CC Hogs from 8 o'clock. Already has cleanup wizards, nice poison to take care of the skellies. Hogs have split a little bit, but one group is being healed by his healers. The other group is under a heal spell, so they are making their way through the last section of the space. Healers top off the hogs to full as they make their way to last Tesla and mortar. And he's got wizards and goblins for cleanup. So great job to Maddie for the execution. <clears throat> and next up we have number 17. Being taken out by Trap. And this is a cold-blooded Lalo. This uh, very interesting base. He's got two air defenses outside his walls. So he starts off with a golem on the mortar and his queen. A wizard and a couple bowlers um, to take care of those archer towers. He's got clan castle bowlers and also drops his king. Fortunately, they hit an outside bomb, so he heals and rages. Clan Castle is another baby dragon witch combination. Bowlers are bowling their way into the base. Take down Queen and Inferno. Um, he's got two archers over there taking out that air defense. So interesting stuff. So good scouting on that. <laughs> Queen will take out one more cannon before dying to that Inferno. And archers just take out that air defense. And I assume he'll start his Lalo from this bottom air defense. Has loons directly targeting the Inferno tower and Couple more sets of loons to target some of these defenses over here at five o'clock. Both hounds have burst, but there are zero errors remaining and he still has a heal and a haste for this back end section, which he gets through without too much trouble. Last heal down or haste. And there is just one Tesla remaining. So, great job to Trab for this plan. Um, yeah. And next up we have number 19 being taken out by Phantom. And Phantom had a six pack this war, so um, welcome back from your retirement. And also our base builder. And 
I think his bases are doing pretty good. Last week they only got three, this week they got five. So, he has come in with a bow Lalo, no golem. So, heroes and bowlers raged with wall breakers to get enemy queen and an inferno. <clears throat> and the CC, which is a witch baby dragon combo again. Queen actually makes her way south and will kick up this air defense, which is very nice. Starts as Lalo, 3 o'clock. Another hound over at 2.30 or 1.30. Hasting loons right into that first air defense. It's got some core Teslas, but some loons will make their way over to take those out. Rages over the Inferno Tower. Hasting in some more loons to trim some outside defenses. Has a heal for this back end. Um, Hound pops just in time. And he's got a haste right into that wizard tower. Some more back end loons for that archer tower. And it is just clean up from here. It's a great job to Phantom for this triple. And um, last 10v10 we'll check out is Supremacy going in on number 20. And this is a Shattered Hobo. So I believe that was five different strategies. Um, it's definitely a very good variety at Town Hall 10. <clears throat> So he has his queen uh, behind one golem and a wizard to funnel so the queen will make her way towards his main kill squad. Drops his king and five six bowlers. Um, not sure what that Valk is for, but rage, heal, jump combination to take out both heroes, clan castle, and an inferno tower, as well as, I believe he got two expos. I think he'll get all three actually. So, very nice value on this kill squad. Um, and he's got 19 plus seven hogs in the clan castle for the rest of the space. Uses that Valk for that Tesla, so that's interesting. He's got two heals only for his hogs, but his queen is somehow still alive. A uh, nice poison spell over that Inferno. Compartment to get rid of the Skellies. He's got one heal left, which he'll drop over this last section. Perfectly placed, and... Hogs are making their way through the last defenses. He's got wizards for cleanup. And they will make their way around the space, clean up some trash. So great job to use Emissy for the triple. So I apologize to everyone else that I did not feature. Um, had a lot of Queen Lock Lalo this war, I think. Majority of the other attacks were Queen Walk Lalo, so I just showed the fresh hit. Um, although they're all good attacks, 10v10 10 is still quite challenging. Um, probably the most challenging aspect still of this game. Anyways, this is Darth Jesus with his signature stoned witch attack. And, um, yeah, he has been killing it, um, since he got here, actually. Um, this base has this long corridor right through the base. And so, DJ will take advantage of that. Spoilers. 
heroes going in with side flanks um, kind of fizzling out but king ability to get through queen he's still got a rage and a heal that he has not used yet um, and I don't think that he will his flanks are actually going pretty strong still um, he's got a couple witches on both sides and there is just a couple cannons and a mortar remaining queen still has ability still got some bowlers and witches and two spells so we'll just fast forward through that so double swag great job to dj he got a fresh six pack so good job to him and that will take us to the end of this recap um this is a white bye week um this week so little break um anyways shout out to yolo mode shout out to j off and i'll see you next time bye